welcome back to my channel so for this project I have took the plastic bottle of uh, shampoo and I have covered it with um, paper tape and then I'm using this uh, speckling paste over the tape so it will be more secure and heavy but if you don't have speckling paste you can use tissues with white glue and this is a hardware which I have to insert in uh, the bottle over the lid I have made the hole the exact size of the wire then I will be sticking it with the hot glue to keep it on the place that how much uh, I want the wire to be outside and then here I'm using this um, clay air dry clay uh, sculpting clay but if you don't have this you can use the foil as I have been doing in my previous videos I was making the body with the foil you can use the foil as well but I want to make this project today all over with the clay and um, and it's not must that you have to use the same clay you can use any kind of air dry clay mm -hmm. I will be making the figure with the clay I will be keep giving it shape until I get the desired shape and making the neck as well with the clay and I'm working while the clay was uh, wet so I can stick properly with each other and here are the same here is the same wire which I'm going to make for her arms I'm bending a little bit for the shoulder space and then I'm covering these wires as well with the clay and while the clay is wet for the body parts i will be making the holes i will insert these uh, arms in uh, body so it can stay on the place and uh, because the wire is i mean the clay is uh, still soft so it's easy to make the hole for the arm but later on i will be removing them to work further here i'm using this clay to stick it on the bottom to make the dress part and to make it heavy as well but uh, as I said before if you don't want to use it use clay uh, you can uh, use um, foil or even the fabric dipped with the cement then here I have rolled the clay uh, to make a shirt for her I will be placing it over her body and I will be cutting the rough edges and the extra um, pieces of the clay I will be cutting it off uh, from the sh under the arms actually so I can bring down the arms then I will be working forward I mean working further anyways here I will cut off the edges to make the sleeves separately with the clay some more designing and some more detailing for the shirt and this is completely up to you what style you want to make for a dress so go for that and here I have removed the arms so I can make uh, detailings for the shirt here I took this foil and um, I will start to make some texture over the shirt then here is some more clay over her uh, uh, chest part near the neck to make the collar for her shirt I will be using the silicone tool to make the texture looks like lace fabric over the on the collar Here is uh, another piece of clay which I will be sticking here in the middle of the shirt to make it like button parts. So here I will be making the button part uh, at the end of the video. So making again some more detailings for the shirt like um, a ribbon part here.
in the same designing i'll be doing for the sides as well to make the curvy parts of the shirt and again i'm using the knife to make some details to make it looks like a ribbon so now here i will put back the arms so i can make the sleeves now and to place the arms on uh, the position here i have rolled uh, the clay a little bit thin part to make the sleeves I will be making some wrinkles and detailings for the sleeves and I will be adding some more clay to make it a little bit wide fluffy types of uh, sleeves for this shirt. And here I am making the details for the shoulder and here you go you can see the both arms are ready now with the sleeve and here at the end of the sleeves i will be making the same texture like lace as i did for the collar here also i stick small piece of clay and i'm twisting it and i'm pressing it down with the tool to make uh, looks like lace fabric here i have applied some more glue on uh, the bottle to stick the clay properly and uh, this one here if you don't want to use again uh, the clay obviously you can go for the fabric dip the fabric into cement and you can go for any style for her dress but i am using the clay today as i said before so i will be making it in this way here is the more clay and i will be making wrinkles on it to make the skirt part for her uh, complete dress Just I want to learn and to check how much I can do for the clay. That's why I'm uh, showing my work and I was quite happy with the result as well. So I will be sticking this part on top of the skirt and pressing it down from the sides to complete it. On this part of clay, I am making uh, another piece of lace which I will be sticking on two parts, uh, two places of the skirt. One will be here, this part of lace and then on the bottom. Just pressing it down to stick it with the other clay. and making some more detailings for the lace after detailing i will be bringing it outward little bit looks like real um, lace which is not stick to the fabric
and here with this part of the clay i am making some plates for her skirt for the bottom style for her skirt After all of these details and clay, the bottle, the sculpture, the doll became very heavy. And here is the other piece of the lace I made with the clay, same the upper one, which I will be sticking over here. Then here I have stick a small piece of clay to make the detailings and curls and uh, wrinkles for her dress because from this part it looks like bottle. It was not giving the dress shape so I added some more uh, clay to make the wrinkle for her uh, skirt to give it more detail. I have prepared the head as well with the clay, the simple head, wall type, oval type shape, no more details and I am making the hair as well with the clay, I am pressing them down a little bit to make it looks like curly hair looks. And this is how it looks like after covering it with the hair and I'm loving this hairstyle and I was quite happy with the result and then I will be pressing it down over the wire and I will be making her face a little bit turning the uh, left side for her body not complete straight and this is how it looks like now it's almost complete then I am using this uh, simple clay, not the same clay I used before to make her hands um, to give it more smooth look. Here I am using all acrylic paints. I have uh, mixed uh, silver, green and brown colors together to get a little bit different shade of green to color her shirt. And here now I'm adding a little bit of uh, teal color.
her skin her colors of uh, her hair and i'm totally loving this uh, it's a little bit different than the sculptures i, I used to make and i found it much more different than my previous ones because i love the detailings for her dress here and uh, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i will be bringing some more new ideas so for that please subscribe to my channel to support my work and uh, share my videos with your family and friends to make me happy when i see it on different social media so i will see you in the next video Thank you so much for watching and uh, bye for now.